So this TikToker goes to Barnes and Noble and she notices this creepy guy looking at her. Now her name's Michaela and sometimes she goes to that bookstore to browse books, get coffee, but this time she notices the creepy guy who we'll call Scratch and Sniff. And Scratch and Sniff seems to be following her around. Like she goes to a new aisle, he follows her there. She turns the corner to a new section, he's behind her again. Like everywhere she goes, he's suddenly there. So she sets up her phone to record and get this guy on camera. And that is when he does this. Now, call me crazy, but it looks like he's sniffing her... Now, Michaela can't really see what he's doing because he's behind her, so she doesn't react. But then he walks over and crouches down behind this other woman back here, and he appears to do the same thing to her. Oh, but he's not done. He then comes back to Michaela a second time and sniffs her again, but this time she notices. What are you doing? I was... <laughs> now, at this point, Michaela is creeped out and disgusted, and she reports the guy to the front desk. Well, I imagine now. And she leaves, and she goes home, and she posts all this footage to TikTok. And the video blows up and suddenly other women start reaching out to Michaela saying they recognize the guy because they had a similar experience with him. One woman is even like, oh, shit, he did the same thing to me in a Barnes and Noble and she got him on video too. Are you following me? No. Then this TikToker, Tizzy, he sees Michaela's video and he makes a TikTok trying to get the word out because apparently a lot of accusations are coming out about this guy. Oh, but it gets worse. Then this former NBA player, Robert Ori, he sees Michaela's video and he posts on his Instagram story that Scratch and Sniff is the same guy who stalked his 14 year old daughter over a decade ago. And Scratch and Sniff actually went to prison for eight years for that. And now he's out like sniffing again. So during all this chaos, Michaela goes to the police and she files a report. To file, like, your report against the guy. And about four days later, Scratch and Sniff gets arrested, but not for Michaela's sniffing incident, but because they caught him prowling and peeping in people's houses. And also for being a suspect in a completely different from all these cases, SA case. Anyway, he gets sentenced to 60 days in jail, but it doesn't end there. Because allegedly, due to overcrowding in the jail, he's released a few days later. Meanwhile, because Tizzy had talked about the story on his TikTok, someone sends him this video. Ring camera footage of what looks like Scratch and Sniff prowling around someone's home. And he allegedly tried some doors and some windows and he couldn't get in and he left. But then, Scratch and Sniff is arrested again. But not for the Michaela incident, not for the sniffing the other women, not for peeping in the home or the SA allegation but because he failed to properly register as a sex offender. So now he's finally in jail again. But wait, 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 there's an update. Guess who got released from jail? Again. Apparently there wasn't enough evidence to prosecute his latest alleged crime, failing to register as a sex offender, so now he is out again. Aww. And that is the last info I could find on him.